Almost 30 years ago, I was diagnosed with a debilitating condition which controlled my life. It affected me in so many ways. It was relatively new at the time, and I was fortunate to have been referred to a rheumatologist who was on the cutting edge of this. Lucky for me, because it helped explain so many of my symptoms at the time, and the many more that I developed over the years. I don't remember my life without pain, without daily pain. From the moment I wake up in the morning until I go to bed, it's my constant companion. One I would rather be without. However, I have learned to embrace it, and I'm grateful for it. I'll be okay. It doesn't define me anymore. I have taken my power back. It has been part of my journey for so long that at one point, my quality of life was pitiful. I felt like I was just going through the motions, highly medicated, unable to work due to the pain and lack of sleep. I spent most of my time sitting in a chair with a heating pad, playing games on my iPad, reading a book, watching TV. My condition includes pain that shifts depending on my activities. I can have a really good day, and then three days later, I'm in a full flare-up mode. It could be in my shoulders, my feet, my knees, my biceps, my ribs, pick a body part. And then I try to analyze what I did to cause that particular pain. I also have a sleep disorder, a mood disorder, anxiety, memory issues, gastro issues, and I'm constantly ringing in my ears. That started when I was about 38. Another huge issue that I've had since childhood is I get debilitating, painful headaches that cause extreme sensitivity to light and noise and often come with nausea. I get what's called an aura, which is a visual disturbance and it starts behind one of my eyes. Mine's usually a moving zigzaggy pattern and I have to lay down in a dark room immediately. So that can be a little challenging when you're in the corporate world. <laughs> in fact, I actually woke up the other day with one. I average about one a week. These have been so impactful throughout my life. I've missed out on a lot, and they are completely debilitating. I just can't function. As a kid, I was mocked and misunderstood. As an adult, it affected my work, my relationships, my life. I was judged, and I often felt inadequate. But somehow I persevered, and I kept going. Now, in 2011, I was in a car accident. I was hit from behind, my car was totaled, and I ended up with a torn rotator cuff, which later required surgery. This event was really the catalyst that forced me to stop working. It's like I always knew I was meant to work from home, but I certainly wasn't going to quit my job. But it looks like God had other plans for me, <laughs> and that was my wake-up call. But I guess I still wasn't convinced. Because between 2011 and 2017, a lot more happened. I had gallbladder surgery, I had open shoulder surgery, I broke my ankle. I developed a painful, rare condition in my ribs that causes swelling and never goes away. Um, and that's when I finally had to stop working, and that was in 2016. And as if that weren't enough, in 2017, a tumor was discovered on my spine between my shoulder blades. I felt like my life was spiraling downwards and I couldn't breathe. There was just so much. Pretty raw. I was in a very dark place in early 2017. After the diagnosis of the tumor, I had already been off work for a year living on my savings, and I was a single mom. So despite working for an insurance company, I didn't qualify for long-term disability. Go figure. Yeah, pretty sad. I knew I needed to do something, so I searched for work from home opportunities. 
on Facebook and I discovered CBD oil. I never heard of it. Of course, at this point, it wasn't with CTFO. I did experience some relief and I started making positive changes with the support of my doctor. Now, fast forward eight months later, I wasn't getting relief anymore and I also wasn't making any money. In fact, I was losing money. Then, in November 2017, I had my dreaded spinal surgery to remove the tumor. It was confirmed to be benign, hallelujah, and I had a long road to recovery ahead of me. It was the worst pain of my life, and yes, worse than childbirth. <laughs> Thank you. Along came CTFO in December 2017. It was free to join, I had nothing to lose, and I was very motivated. I started recruiting right away while I was lying in bed, recovering from my surgery. True story. I reached out to every single contact in my messenger list, and I don't have this written down, but I'm going to say, who didn't sign up for the other opportunity that I was in. And I started posting in multiple work from home groups throughout the day. During one of these timeouts, I came up with the name of my team, the Healthy Wealthy Pioneers. We really are pioneers, all of us, but especially Canadians. Make some noise if you're from Canada. When the CBD oil products launched, or the CBD product launched in January 2018, I ordered the 1500 milligram full spectrum CBD oil. It changed my life. My morning pain, which is usually an 8-9, went to a 5-6 within an hour. I cried. I knew I had my hands on something big and I could be passionate about it. After studying the comp plan and researching the CTFO organization, I realized that this company and their program was so much better than what I was involved in before. I was excited. I was actually making money right away. What a thrill. I share the opportunity in my story every day, and 60 days later, from the date, 60 days after the product launched, I reached the rank of 100K Executive Vice President. I have the most wonderful team. I never take it for granted that I wouldn't be where I am today without my amazing team. They know it. They're awesome and I love them. And they all have their own stories and they each have a great big why. I encourage them to be consistent and persistent and it will pay off. I still have pain every single day. And I never know what I'm going to deal with. But the difference is I have my life back. No more sick days, they're all me days. If I'm having a high pain day or a bad morning, I'm not worried because I'm the boss. The beautiful thing is, while I'm working harder than ever before, it's on my own terms. And it really never feels like work. I'm helping people, I'm sharing my story and this amazing opportunity. I support my team, they support me, they support each other. We are growing together. Today, all I take to manage all my symptoms, all of them, is the 1500 milligram 10X Pure and the sleep spray. I take half a dropper first thing in the morning and then another 10 drops once or twice later. I also use the ultimate CBD pain relief cream with any oil if I need it and I use four squirts of the sleep spray at night. So in closing, the two secrets to my success, everyone, are my burning desire to succeed, which crushes all obstacles. I will say that again. You have to have a burning desire to succeed and it will crush all obstacles. It's like, what do we need to do to solve this? Don't give up. Just keep going. It's just a matter of time. It's going to happen. And my genuine attitude of gratitude. I feel blessed every single day that CTFO came into my life. It has been life-changing in every way. The opportunity has not only improved my health and provided me with financial well-being, it has also allowed me to share the benefits of CBD with others most importantly, I have formed some incredible relationships and friendships. And 
You know, honestly, I could be the poster child for improving your health and your wealth with CTFO. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you, Steve. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you, Michael Kahn, for giving us CTFO. Thank you, everyone here, for your time and for listening to my story. I appreciate you. Enjoy the weekend, and cheers to your success, because the future starts now.